Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM as we wrap up 31 Days of Oscar. Since February 9th, every movie on the channel has been an Oscar winner or nominee. Tonight, we're finishing with a lineup of Best Picture winners. Up next, we're going back to the beginning with the movie that won the first Academy Award for Best Picture, then called Outstanding Picture. From Paramount Pictures and Players Lasky Corporation in 1927, Wings. This is the story of two young American men training to become pilots in the First World War. When they head off to fight the Germans in Europe, they leave behind the women who love them. One of those women, played by Clara Bow, decides to join the fight in Europe in her own way, becoming an ambulance driver. Thanks to Bow's status as one of the most famous actresses of the silent era, she gets top billing here, though the leads are really the two pilots, played by Richard Arlen and Charles Buddy Rogers. Wings, a pioneering film, to put it mildly, jumped off the screen in 1927, remains compelling to watch today thanks to its aviation stunts and aerial cinematography. The director, William Wellman, Wild Bill Wellman, had served as a fighter pilot during the First World War. He skillfully parlayed his aviation and wartime experience onto the screen. To get the aerial footage right, both lead actors had to actually fly their airplanes rigged with special camera mounts. That wasn't really a problem for Arlen. Like Wellman, he was a trained pilot, a World War I Royal Air Force veteran. Rogers, though, had never even been in a plane. So not only did he have to learn how to fly, but he had to act and control the camera in the plane all at the same time. Since there were no special effects, the Academy had to recognize the expertise that went into creating and capturing the aerial stunts with a special award for engineering effects. Although Wings is acknowledged as winning the first Oscar for Best Picture, that's only partially true. More on that after the film. From 1927, also notable for featuring future two-time Oscar winner Gary Cooper in a small role as a pilot, this is director William Wellman's Wings. When the Motion Picture Academy started honoring excellence in the film industry, the categories for the Academy Awards, not yet called Oscars, were quite different than they are today. In 1929, the first year awards were given, there was an award called Outstanding Picture. That's what we consider the best picture Oscar today. And that award was presented to the film we just had, Wings. However, a second Oscar was awarded that year for Unique and Artistic Picture. That award went to director F.W. Murnau's Sunrise. One could argue, and people have for years, that the Unique and Artistic Picture Award also represents the best picture. The Unique and Artistic category was eliminated the following year, and from then on, just one Oscar went to the Outstanding Production, or Best Picture. So technically, both Wings and Sunrise, each bold and innovative silent films, can lay claim to winning that first Best Picture Oscar. Ahead tonight, the Best Picture winner for 1938, a comedy from director Frank Capra, starring Gene Arthur and Jimmy Stewart. You Can't Take It With You is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, You Can't Take It With You, then the Broadway melody, and later, They Drive By Night. Rouse Cool on TCM Tonight.